Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nana. And today we're playing some more Sims for Seasons. I already recorded this part, but it did not go as planned into this house. It turned out empty. So for whatever reason, the game was like, hey, a uh, nice house you decorated, but um, here's the empty version. So I had to quickly go and um, when I say quickly, I uh, took like three days off, but I, um, ta-da. <laughs> House is done. Cassie has officially moved into her first her first house with Salem. So this is the house that Salem has purchased for the both of them. This is Salem's entire operation. Oh, I just love this. Like I just oh, I, I love this. Oh, there she goes again, puking. I'm gonna have her take a bubble bath, kind of freshen up a little bit because she is feeling not so good as you can see. So Salem, one of the things that Salem fell in love with was this greenhouse and he prepared this for her, made it look all nice and cozy so that she had enough space to do what she loved. It's going to be her own little space that she is going to love and if there's any space that she needs for herself, she can come into the yard and do some gardening. Her entire, she has an entire greenhouse for herself. And then one of the things that Cassie also really wanted was to live a more, um, a more simple life. So, you know, do their own laundry outside and, you know, grow your own vegetables and herbs and fruits and take a little through, a quick little through, a quick, um, oh gosh, okay, I'll do a quick tour through the house. Uh, one of the things that Salem also fell in love with was the bathroom. This bathroom had a bath, something her and Cassie, him, her Cassie, mm -mm, turned into lesbians in just a real second. <laughs> one of the things that, one of the main reasons they got into this place. There's a lot of furniture of the both of them. So we have Salem's electronic um, business uh, set up over here. So Cassie really isn't much an electronical fan, but she, you know, she can't let this pass. This is Salem's job. He loves writing. So he has like a little humble <laughs> computer set up over here. They do have a TV. Um, I don't think they both really are into TVs, but I guess for the simple things as working out, it was really, really handy to have. So that's why they did opt for a TV. All of her stuff from home is back here. We finally had a place to hang up our paintings that we bought. And yeah, Salem went ahead and decorated a baby room. This is a room that she's not really sure about. This is the most confronting room in the entire house. And I don't think she's really, really ready for this. It just kind of scares her a little bit that he already put together. Okay. That's interesting. <laughs> it kind of scares her that he already put together this some sort of, well, it's not really a baby room, but he, he already purchased the crib and all of that. Like he's that serious about that. And it's like one of those things that just makes her, I wonder where she's going. Uh, it just like confronts her with reality. Like she's lying, you know, like it confronts her with reality that she is lying to Salem about having a baby. It's just a bee box and Cassie, Cassie, oh my god, please be careful. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What are you doing? Why are you doing this? Oh my gosh. Okay. So she's running back inside after this wild adventure. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Stung. Ouch. Pesky bee stings are the worst. It's hard to resist the spoils of honey. Okay, so Cassie is definitely craving something sweet. But instead of actually eating ourselves, I want to invite over my girlfriends and cook them some food. So why don't I go ahead and serve them some breakfast? So I'll make like some pancakes because who doesn't like pancakes, right? One of the reasons that I really wanted a house, as you know, is that I wanted to experience some more of the seasonal objects. And now that winter's over, I thought it was perfect to showcase these items. So as you um had a little introduction, <laughs> oh my god, they're enraged. Okay, enraged. I got a bees box, which I absolutely love. I also got a swing back there. And um the planter box is also right there. And uh what's your name again? A scarecrow. Which I am just really, really happy about. Like I'm happy that I finally get a chance to play with these. And there's some birds in here. Like I feel like it's perfect. It just seems so Cassie-like. Coming from the big city and now having this house that's just... I don't know, the complete opposite, but totally something within her personality. In the beginning, she wanted to be in the city and have like a little quiet life in the city. And then she fell in love with all these plants and, and, and this simple life. And then she just wanted a house in Oasis Springs. And now she actually got it. Like, 
can't imagine how fast life is going for her. She is to be wondering where Salem is at this point, and Salem is currently still at his own place. He is finishing up the last things, but he should be coming home tonight, and that's when we're going to spend the first night together in this house. Which is really, really, oh my god, oh my god, no, you're not gonna go, oh no, oh no. <laughs> Miko, don't you dare touch the bees, they're already enraged, you're gonna die, oh my god, poor Miko. Oh my god, Miko. I really thought I said like sing, oh my gosh, okay, I need to get my eyes checked. Anyway, so we're gonna call everyone to meal, and oh my god, like Miko, thank you for cleaning up, but this is not how you do it, anyway. <laughs> Anyway, I'm trying to showcase my new house and we're just making a trash. <laughs> trash plates. Big dumpster. Anyway. This is one of the first times ever that I'm living together with someone besides Savannah. And it's a guy. And, you know, I'm kind of faking. Well, I'm not faking being pregnant, but it's not his baby. Like, there is so much going on that I just needed a moment to sit down with my girl. I have different opinions. Miko is saying, I think you should come clean. Tell him it's not your baby. While Savannah is like, girl, it's still early. You can always just get rid of the baby and never tell him. Like, Savannah is completely different than Miko is and uh, obviously than Cassie is. And Cassie is just kind of like, I don't know what to do. Like, I could potentially just not tell him and then get rid of the baby, but that's just... I don't know, I don't feel right about that, but then I can't raise his baby either because it's not Sailor's baby, it's like my ex's baby, like what am I gonna do? She's just so flipping confused, but one thing that the girls agree on is that she has a little bit of time to decide. Even though she is pregnant, she's only a few weeks along and she has some time to decide before, you know, abortion or anything like that is just not an option anymore. There's also, um, you know, adoption that we probably could do, but does she really want to go through a pregnancy that's from someone else's baby like i don't think i don't really want to put a baby in the world that's just not i don't know how to put it wanted because it really isn't wanted even though it sounds really naive really 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 heartless but <laughs> it really is the girls are here but i want to get settled in and um, i need to kind of you know get my thoughts together so a lot of things are happening a birthday is coming up very soon the new year is coming up very soon and then our concert is next week in spring so there are some things we need to kind of take care of before that i want to get settled into the house i want to find the place and then of course spend the new year with salem like that's gonna be that's gonna be fun maybe like throw a new year's party i don't know there's like so much we could do anyway but i'm going to say goodbye to my girls thank them for coming and um I need to take Miko away from these bees because Miko, <laughs> I don't know what Miko does. Miko has a death wish, I think. I haven't experienced anything with the bees yet, but I changed her into her beekeeper suit just to be sure here because, uh, yeah, I have a feeling that that's <laughs> we're not going to do so well. It looks like we can't, this cannot be done while wearing a, oh, okay. All right, so let's remove the beekeeper suit and then try to bond with our bees. I really thought we just, oh my God. I don't know though, like, do we okay let's try to bond with the bees i don't think this is a good thing to do wait but okay okay let's see how we're doing <laughs> they were enraged just a second ago so i'm not entirely sure if this is a risky business or we're just nope yep yep as expected we should just leave the bees for what they are <laughs> All right, so I, would, I did do laundry, so I'm gonna put the laundry away and then replace the water. Just do some um, kind of like household chores, but that is what I like doing and it's gonna get me into um, just feel more, I don't know, like it's gonna feel more um, homey, I guess, if I just act like that. I don't know, like the pack and um, okay, so I got a green pea and... Uh, okay, I got a couple green peas. Oh, more. Okay. And I have some strawberries. Okay. So let's get some strawberries. Okay. That's a lot of strawberries. But for now, I just, I, I'm just going to have a couple of these. It doesn't really matter for me. Um, okay. I as well just have her, you know, get started on a few of the basic ones until um, I have a better variety and a better range of um, different kind of plants. Okay, so let's have her go here and start planting all these, which 
There are quite a few to plan, if I say so myself. Salem has come home as well and he's about to purchase a lottery ticket, cause why not? They're having a little chat outside the house and um, it looks like it's about to rain. So let's head back inside before we get wet. I d I swear, I saw rain, right? You, you guys saw that too. You guys saw some rain. I, I swear to you, I saw rain. Maybe not. I could have sworn I saw rain, but I guess I guess not anymore. <laughs> Actually, a lot younger. Than, well, a lot younger. I would say he's like five or six, seven years younger than Cassie. So he's kind of like the baby. I feel like Cassie's just way older and way more mature than he is. So um, I want to just check him out just a little bit because I haven't um, spent much time uh, on him. About it. <laughs> so he, um, ooh, what he has, he has... He also has some paintings. Okay, that's fun. He also has like one of these um, snow globes. Okay, that's um, I don't know. Like, let's put another snow globe here. I don't know. Like, we we're gonna have um, an interesting house. It's weird because you know we're gonna be living together now. And also, now that we have a house, I want to go ahead and um, go upstairs and get some house decorations um, going on. Okay. Okay. Um. Okay, let's uh let's uh review this for a second. I like the stars. I think the stars are definitely just kind of fun and like them, I would say. Uh the hearts, I guess, are okay. Maybe uh I don't yeah, I, uh, we're gonna have to change that. <laughs> uh, th this is their first time decorating a house, so I, I'll, I'll forgive them. They don't know what they're doing. Salem is downstairs, and uh, Cassie's already gone to bed. He's just kind of, like, watching the news. He's like, babe, I'll stay up. I'll watch the lottery. Because, um, obviously, that's very important as, uh, how else are we going to know what we want? Hi. The lottery was successful. Okay. Cassie had a wonderful time and got to do everything she planned to. Yeah, did we won? <laughs> like, did we we would win anything? Excellent holiday. Okay, but did we win anything? Like, that's <laughs> did we win anything? Come on, did I get anything? No, I didn't get any. I didn't. I didn't get any money. Wow. I wait. What? What? I didn't even get any money. I'm I'm so disappointed. Anyway, this is so like real life. Like Cassie is going to have to teach him some manners because she is one of these persons, like one of these people that will have a clean home and she will literally whoop your butt if you leave a mess. She always told Savannah off for making a mess, but it was kind of like her house, so she didn't have much to say about it. But now she's like, damn, you have nothing to say about me. Somehow, Salem made it up earlier than Cassie, and uh, I want him to start and cook some breakfast for his, uh... Actually, is he going to make... Oh, no, he's going to scrub serving. Okay, I guess that's fine too, but I wanted him to have a sweet moment. I want him to have a sweet moment. Like, your girlfriend is living together with you, you're having a baby together i think you should um make some eggs and toast like be romantic i feel like the first days that you're living together mind you i've never lived together with anyone i feel like he would be sweeter than you usually would be together like eating her breakfast that she's like uh i feel like having a slice of pizza like uh this pizza this i uh, yeah i just i just need some pizza right now <laughs> Cassie, come on now. He's okay. Anyway, he's going out of his way to cook you breakfast. He doesn't cook ever. He barely knows how to hold a pan. He's making some food. You're just having like a pizza. Like, come on. At least thank him for this or something. Like, give the guy a hug. Let's brighten his day a little bit. He's going off to work. So he's a very like working man, which I'm really happy about because in a way, Cassie gets to spend a lot of time by herself and still not be together 24-7 with someone, which I think really helps her feel more at home. She really isn't the type to just live together with someone and just be okay with it in some sort of way. Like, she feels like it's such a commitment because you're giving up part of your life to spend it with another person. I absolutely love this view that we're having here like look we can just look outside while eating and we're gonna see the neighbors walking by and yeah, yeah whatever <laughs> i can think it's just things like that they're really really funny anyway so since this is going to work i do want him to have at least one kiss i haven't kissed at all since they come like he came home like come on we need a little smoochy smoochy i'll just catch it for your bladder just a second so don't pee yourself at work and make a complete fool out of yourself <laughs> 
Go on, at least one little hug, a little kiss, something, something, little something. Aww. Maybe not a kiss. I mean, they are sweet together, but they're not the type that would just express their fondness, like, literally all the time. Anyway, he's gonna go to work, and we are gonna go on with our daily duties, and, um... Yeah, that's kind of like this part. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Anyway, guys, that is all for this part. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next. Bye.